What if I told you, you could make a 360 virtual tour entirely on your phone? Well, the tour you're looking at right now is exactly that. I shot and edited this tour 100% on my iPhone. Not only does it look similar to a tour shot with a point and shoot 360 camera, but I was able to generate a dollhouse a floor plan and the shooting and editing time took less than 30 minutes. So today I've got a cool discovery to share with you that will definitely give Matterport a run for its money. And it's called Asteroom, which is a company that has been around for a few years now, creating 3D virtual tours targeted at real estate. And I came across them recently and it seems like they're branding themselves as a lower cost Matterport alternative. And a great feature they've added, I just love this feature, is you can shoot the entire virtual tour on your phone and edit it, including adding hotspots, navigation, and produce a dollhouse floor plan and so on. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how it works and whether it's any good. So I see Asteroom and the smartphone virtual tour workflow as a great low budget alternative to a conventional virtual tour setup. It only costs $12 per tour for six months of hosting with Asteroom. And there are some optional add-ons I'll talk about later. And the coolest thing is you don't need a 360 camera and you don't need a computer. You can use those things, but you don't have to. Basically everything is done on your phone. So while you don't necessarily need a 360 camera, you will need the Asteroom 3D Tour Kit. This will essentially help us get perfect 360 photos using our phone. The kit is sold on their website for 109 US dollars. And if you're a member of my Virtual Tour Pro course, you'll also get a further $25 off of that. So in the kit, you'll find firstly a tripod. It's cheap, it's basic, but it does the job and will keep your shots steady and level. It comes with a phone cover. And when you buy the kit, you'll be asked which phone you own and they send you a case that is custom to your phone. Then it comes with a super wide angle lens that you attach to the case. This lens is somewhere between 160 and 180 degrees. And finally, it comes with a rotator that moves your phone around roughly six times to create a full 360 panorama. Now when shooting with your phone, it is important to use a setup like this because if you were to try to capture a 360 panorama handheld, there's going to be a high margin for error due to the lens ends being in so many different places when you take the various photos that it will create significant stitching and parallax errors. If you've ever been on Google Street View, you'll know what I'm talking about. Whereas when you use the smartphone rotator setup, it perfectly aligns the lens in the middle. So it's barely moving from shot to shot. So as the phone rotates, the lens maintains a very close horizontal and vertical axis, resulting in very minimal stitching errors and parallax issues. And yeah, that's important if you want your photos to look like 360 photos and not a 360 photo taken with a phone. And using this technique, you can shoot up to 32 megapixel 360 photos. As to which phone you can use, they say that it works with most phones. Basically, if you have anything of the last few years, you're going to produce pretty good image quality. Basically, think about how good is your photo quality on your phone already for flat photos? Well, that's going to translate into a 360 photo. So if you have a really old phone, the photos aren't going to be good in 360. But if you have something from the last four years or so, then you will be able to get up close to that 32 megapixel mark. They do have a list of compatible phones on their website, and it does also come with a fisheye clip that works with most other phones. So here's how you shoot with Asteroom and your smartphone. Once you've set it up initially, you've put the cover on with the lens and extended your tripod as high as it goes. Place it roughly in the middle of the room you're shooting. Open up the app, make sure HDR is on. Activate the self timer to either five or 10 seconds. It's also got this level feature, which is pretty cool. Move your phone around and it'll act like an actual spirit level. Then press the camera button to activate the shot. When shooting, you can either move with the phone as it rotates and make sure you're constantly behind the lens or a better approach would be hiding out of sight just in case your shadow interferes with any of the shots. As a rule of thumb, you should get one photo per room. With hallways, it helps to shoot in front 
front of every door frame. Just make sure there is a clear line of sight from shot to shot. Each photo takes around 10 to 15 seconds to capture. So you should be able to do a full house in under 15 minutes. After every shot, the app will prompt you to label the photo with the location. It has a list of the most common rooms there as presets, which speeds things up considerably. Now, if you do own a 360 camera, Astroom is compatible with all Ricoh and Insta360 cameras. So feel free to use them if you like. Editing in the Astroom mobile app is super easy. Once you've downloaded it, it's free for iOS and Android, by the way. What we're going to do under the My Tours tab is hit the plus icon down the bottom right. This will allow us to create a project of our tour that we just shot. So I've called it the address. You can give it another address and a description, but I don't feel the need to right now. So I'm going to hit done. And now what we're going to do is construct our virtual tour. So I'm going to upload the photos, which are automatically saved within the Astroom app. Here they are. Again, it's so handy to have those labels within the app so you can connect everything together that extra bit quicker. And I'd suggest choosing your photos roughly in the order that you want people to navigate. And it's okay if you don't get them in the right sequence, we can always change this later. Okay, our photos have uploaded. Next, we're going to connect them together and Astroom do offer paid packages where they connect everything together for you. You don't have to do a single thing, including a dollhouse image enhancement, a 2D floor plan and so on. You can choose that if you like, if you don't wanna do the editing yourself. However, in this example, I'm going to connect everything up myself. So I'll hit not now. Now it starts with a hotspot tutorial, which I'm going to show you right now. So we're going to choose our first photo. Here is my photo that I shot in the kitchen. I'm gonna start adding some hotspots to it. So the first one I want to add is going to be right there. So down the bottom left, I'm going to choose the hotspots option. And now we're going to choose the photo that this photo links to. And I want it to link out to the balcony. So I'm going to hit next. And now on this screen, we're going to choose exactly where the hotspot goes. And I'm going to put it on the floor exactly where I know my next photo was placed. Now in the window below it, we have the return path. So we're going to identify where the first photo was taken. So it can automatically be linked up. And the kitchen photo was taken with the camera about here. Okay, great, now I'm gonna hit done. And as you can see, it's added that hotspot. And when we go to our exterior photo, you'll see that it's added the return hotspot. Anyway, I'm gonna go back to the kitchen because I wanna show you a few things. First thing is you can edit hotspots. So if you want to firstly change the placement, maybe you messed it up the first time around, you can always come back and change the location as well as change which photo it links to. So now I'm going to add the other hotspots to this photo. So I know I've got one here in the bathroom and I've also got another one to the right in the living room. So likewise, I'll repeat the exact same process by choosing the linking panorama Next, then choosing the two hotspots on the ground in each direction. And now I'm going to rinse and repeat that with this entire tour. And we're done. That took me around 10 minutes to connect up hotspots throughout this whole house. So next, I wanna show you the next feature within the Virtual Tour mobile editor, and that is adding tags. So this is a very common feature you see in all Virtual Tour softwares. If you wanna draw attention to one specific thing, you can create a hotspot with information. So I'm going to add one here to this bedroom. I'll say sleeps two people. You can add a link if you wanna link anything external. You can add a custom image to the hotspot. You can add audio. You can choose your icon style. The most common one is the eye, but you can choose any of these icons here or add a custom icon from your camera roll. I'm gonna choose the eye. Now I'll hit done and I'll move this hotspot in line with the door. Likewise, you can repeat the process with any other informational based hotspots you wanna add throughout your tour. The next feature to point out is the tripod overlay. If you tap that, you can add a custom nader, which means you can cover the tripod with a logo of your choice. Also up the top right, there's a preview button. So if we wanna see a live preview of what we've just created, we can do so instantly on our phones. And straight away, I'm able to navigate around the tour like this was my finished product. And yeah, that's looking nice, really nice. 
Finally, if you tap the more button, you'll see a few more options for things you can add to this tour, including a straighten option if your horizon is off level. And you can also add flat images, videos, update the thumbnail and add 3D text within the space. But you know what? I'm actually really happy with this tour. So I'm going to hit the back button and back one more time. And there we go. There's my tour. I just assembled that in 15 minutes on my phone. You can also edit with Astroom on your computer if you want. It does have very similar features to the smartphone app, but if you prefer a bigger screen and a few more options overall, feel free to edit on desktop. You can log in the exact same way and the editor is so simple it doesn't even need explaining. Okay, now let's take a look at my final tour. And there's the dollhouse. Nice. Every time I see a dollhouse, I just totally geek out. I know it's a simple idea but it's super cool, especially in the context of real estate. It turned out well, they did a good job building my dollhouse. Now in the bottom left, I can change modes. I'm going to go into my floor plan. So there's my 2D floor plan that they've generated based on the 360 photos from a virtual tour. And that looks pretty accurate to the actual house's layout. I'm sure it's not 100%, but it seems pretty close. Here's a photo version of the floor plan layout. And this is something that you can access from the published tour. So if you want to see the tour from many different perspectives, this is another cool one. And I like that when you rotate it, the titles stay nice and horizontal. Okay, now I'm going to go into the tour. Let's do it. And as you can see, when you publish and preview your tour, the interface improves. It no longer looks like an editor, but you've got proper icons that hover and the navigational arrows look much better. Wow, I can't believe this. I shot this tour on my phone. That's crazy. This really turned out so much better than I was expecting. And I've got to say the dynamic range is surprisingly good. Here's an interior exterior shot and it's exposed both sides of this image really nicely. And it's also cool that you can see the dollhouse and the 2D floor plan from the main navigational window as well. So you've always got access to those and you don't have to go searching for them. Okay, so for you photo nerds out there, let's talk image quality. So with my iPhone 12 Pro Max, I was able to shoot 32 megapixel 360 photos. And I'm gonna be honest, when I first saw these, I was really genuinely surprised at how well it turned out. I thought it would look terrible, that the quality would be extremely low, that the highlights would be overblown and so on. But what I'm looking at right here, looks like it was shot on a consumer point and shoot 360 camera in HDR mode, which right now is one of the more common techniques for 360 cameras and yeah, it was done on the phone. That's definitely something I find very cool. Now, is this amazing image quality? No, it's not. It's basic to good, but I'd say it's good enough, especially for real estate listings where extremely high image quality simply isn't necessary. Would I shoot a high-end multi-million dollar business using Astroom? No, I wouldn't. Businesses like that need quality and you should shoot with a DSLR or a really high-end 360 camera. But for real estate and small business shoots, I definitely would be happy using Astroom and the mobile workflow. Now I wanna talk about how Astroom handles the nadir and the zenith, which means the bottom and the top. And obviously there's a tripod there at the bottom. It's big and when you're shooting with this setup, it feels like it's going to be a really big presence in your shots. However, within the Astroom software, they limit the tilt for both up and down, so you can't actually see it. You can scroll down to see the bottom axis, but you can't look directly down or directly up because the images do have the tripod there. At the top, there is often a black dot if your phone was even slightly out of line. And obviously they're aware of that and they're trying to encourage people not to look directly up and directly down. That is, however, unless you add a custom nadir. If you do that, then suddenly you have the ability to look down and look up. Oh, and by the way, you can manually upload photos later if you want to import it to your computer, maybe remove the tripod or do some other kind of editing. You can do that and just manually upload in the app or the online software. So who is Astroom for? I think it's pretty obvious by now real estate. Any kind of real estate tour where you need to shoot and edit and upload quickly and maybe you don't own a 360 camera or you want to keep things super simple and you want to do everything yourself. Maybe you're a real estate agent or a realtor and you need some kind of way of turning around virtual tours quickly yourself. For other types of virtual tours, I would probably recommend the other softwares I talk about on my channel. Oh, and by the way, I'll link my Astroom tour below if you want to take a look at it and pixel peep and just see what the end result was 
was like from a tour that was shot and edited 100% on my phone. And I do also want to point out that this smartphone rotator technique is not new. It's been around for years and there are many softwares, rotators, phones, and so on that can achieve this technique. Why I like this one, however, is this is the best I've seen it done so far. Not only is the setup and shooting super smooth, but also the app is fantastic. I'd say Astroom is the closest thing I've seen to a complete smartphone experience yet from a virtual tour provider. Now I wanna elaborate a bit more on pricing because obviously this is an extremely important factor. And as I mentioned at the start of the video, Astroom are trying to position themselves as a low or lower budget version of Matterport. With Matterport, you have to pay an ongoing subscription fee. With Astroom, you pay per tour. It's $12 to get started and you get six months of hosting with your tour. However, you will have to pay a little bit extra if you want extra things such as the dollhouse. That is $10 for a dollhouse for up to 10 panoramas, then one US dollar per additional photo. You can get them to make a 2D floor plan with dimensions, which is $15 per tour. They do image enhancement, AKA color correcting your photos for $1 per photo. Oh, and if you buy the Astroom 3D kit, you also get this voucher, which gives you one of each of those things for free for your first tour. And then finally, they offer 3D staging at $35 Per panorama and what 3d staging is is simulating furniture being put into your location so if you've got an empty house what they do is they stage furniture inside of it so if it was a house for sale you could show people what the house would look like with furniture inside which is actually pretty high tech when you think about it. they're inserting 3d objects into your 360 photo I have no idea how they do that or how it works but yeah that is actually a really big value add for the real estate industry. And of course, all of those four things are optional. You don't have to buy them. If you want to go with the most basic package, it's $12 a tour for six months of hosting. And I do believe they offer a 24 hour turnaround time on all of those things although don't quote me on that. And something I like about this service as well is they keep you up to date with what they're doing. They send you emails and because it's an app as well for your phone, you get mobile notifications saying that your tour is ready, your dollhouse is ready and so on. And the final thing to mention is that Astro Room is integrated with two of the largest real estate portals in the US, Zillow and Realtor.com, which again, if you're a real estate agent, that's good. And if you're someone that shoots or aspires to shoot virtual tools professionally and you don't want to spend years learning the hard way like I did, I put together a 16 hour video course called Virtual Tour Pro that will take you by the hand and show you exactly what to do to create professional virtual tours and create your own profitable business in doing so. You can enroll by following the link in the description and just a reminder that Virtual Tour Pro members receive $25 off the Astroom 3D smartphone kit. And that's it for this video. That is how how you shoot a professional virtual tour using your phone. Hey, what do you think of Astroom? Did you like it? Do you have anything else that you wanna throw into the conversation? Feel free to let me know down below. And FYI, I am planning on making a comparison video between Matterport and the various Matterport alternatives because there are now more and more. So be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss that. And that's it from me, peace out.